Così? No, quasi quasi lo farei più corto. Tanto lo devo... Hi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to review a movie which is all about a teenage boy who works as a lifeguard at the beach and at the same time he's caring for a large number of women who are coming for a weekend without their husband. The film is a 1974 romantic comedy drama and the titled As Lovers and Other Relatives. Somewhere on the beaches of Tuscany in 1954, a well-paid family spends their vacations. The old parents, constantly quarreling, are the least of the problems of their son Sandra. 16 years old, pubescent, rebelling, spending the days with his friends, playing pranks and starting to get interested in women. However, the only woman he is seriously interested in is the beautiful Laura, a wife of his older brother Renzo. While Renzo is usually out of business reasons, Sandro and Laura gets to spend a lot of time together on the beach. Their relationship is developed, rather laxos, until it gets a momentum after the first half. It is not too badly written from them. Most of earlier beach scenes are graces and felt convincing, not surprising at any point. Initially, Laura doesn't even notice Sandra's interest in her. Then she does, but smiles about it until she develops feeling of a home. This is actually inevitable in the view of her husband Renzo, who is so completely stupid and unbearable wonder that it made marry her him in the first place. Once you consider this, you can see the problem that somewhat limited Tom Doan toward the characterization of Laura. By gradually understanding the emotion she causes in Sandro, Laura becomes his friend and understanding complex. The adolescent awkwardness also makes him different, an endearing male model for her, without her daring to admit it. The initiation is therefore upon all mentals, since by experiencing the torment, jealousy and frustration of the lover, without being one, Sandra alternates between reiterating the macho education on which he is conditional or daring to show a touching vulnerability that does not produce muscularity. Rejected. Including by a teenage girlfriend while trying to play the alpha male, he awakens deeper feelings by crying in spite of Laura, even though he offers him his first kiss. The formal settling is the idol for translating this whirlwind of emotion and sensation. In the films, the adult characters like the couple Laura and Renzo have fulfilled their adult hinted at by any asserted public trenderness, while the adolescent, Sanro, is more easily exposed to adult culture via magazine and literature and social phenomena of his time. The film is basically a pre-version story about an aunt and nephew, and the nephew who decides to and does not even accept the occasion with another girl of his age. But Aunt, who is pretty pathetic and most say she goes with every man and she gets, and after using the nephew to do all her chores and she gets tired of him and goes with her own life. But the actress Laura, this is her story, is probably the last time she took the role of youthful, naive love interest. And this is all about this movie review. And if you do love our videos, please do support us by like, share and subscribe. Thank you.